you will never find justice in a world where criminals make the law and the corrupt establishment won't disappoint their stakeholders. Good day and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Everyday People's Voice. Please like, subscribe and share our videos. Without wasting your time, Appeal Court strikes out APM's suit against the victory of President Tinubu and Vice President Kashim Shetima in the 2023 presidential election. Also, the Appeal Court strikes out Labour Party and the PDP's suit against the victory of President Tinubu and the vice. Wow. <laughs> uh, well, what did these judges then do to this way? Make their no say, karma, they wait for them for front. But I trust the people on ground. I beg, make I not waste our time too much. I want to go and watch this video. This video will tell you now all what it transpired today for the tribunal, for the judgment of today. Make sure see the wayo when the justices they play because of money that don't collect. I beg, make sure I waste our time. Make sure I watch the video. Thank you. Now we continue with decision number three and five. I can see Dr. Levy moving up and down. So as elderly person, I know what is going on. <laughs> Please stand by. Thank you. I think we just want to. It's a consolidated judgment. They will put their constitution after we have read all the judgments. Oh, yes, right, right. My lord, please. You just did that to know, sir. They are told them. They will put their Thank you very much, my lord. Yes. Thank you, sir. Hold the court. Well, so and far. The first part. <laughs> well, we, we can't tell at this time if it's the first part, you know, but first part of the proceedings has just gone underway. Well, what the, uh, the, the justice said was that's the fourth um, item, so to speak. So there's still the third one, there's the second, second and, the first. and the first. But the reason they're taking them all up together is according to um, the justice. They are consolidated. In other words, they are all related one way or the other. You see that a number of times he would say, "Look, as we had previously mentioned, um, you know, it's a pre-election matter. Mm -hmm. As previously mentioned, it's a pre-election matter. You know, but at least one thing can can be said clearly now that this court has struck out APM suits against um, Shetima and Tinubu for lack of merit. Merit, yeah. Um, for the preliminary uh, objection, the court held that. The petitioner, that's APM, um, ought to have filed the case before the Federal High Court within 14 days from the course of action, from the day of the course of action arose. Um, the court agreed with the respondent that the issue is statute 
barred. Mm. And consequently, uh, the justice who read the leap judgment added that um, Section 285 sub 14C does not allow members of any political party to challenge the nomination of candidates of another political party. Uh, consequently, declared that the petitioner lacks the local standing to institute the petition. Mm. And recall that the PDP did indeed take the matter to court of a, as a pre-election matter, mm. and the Supreme Court held that there was no double nomination. Mm. So on this case, the petition that the judge has ruled that the petitioner failed to prove that the third and fourth respondent failed to prove that they were not validly nominated, and on that strength, um, has been struck out for lacking in merit. It's a it's a long uh, haul. We were still. This is pretty much um, as we have been informed. A, the long haul. <laughs> <laughs> the long, long haul. My education. Yeah. Uh, we could be here for another two to three hours, so to speak. Well, but you know, in response to one of the council's uh, inquiry uh, just moments ago, uh, Justice Samani may have said that you know it's a contributory judgment. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's the implication of that. Is it that it's a contributory judgment from all of the other four justices, or will there be a dissenting judgment? Well, well I guess we'll, we'll, that, that's what we'll be waiting to see, because, I mean, if you listened, recall what Mr. Kweka has told us at time, as well as uh, Dr. Titoji in Abuja, uh, that, look, a lead judgment could take X number of hours. And if you also recall what the justice said to us, this is just the judgment. There are other arguments in it. You have to get it later. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, so um, so um, this whole conversation started something around 10 o'clock? 9.27 to be precise. <laughs> <laughs> I took note of the exact time that the judges walked in. But, you know, uh, just also warn you <laughs> that uh, Senior Advocate Morrison also said that in case there's a dissenting judgment, that could also take some the time. Of time. Yes, yeah. So, um, so there is contributing judgment, there is dissenting judgment. We do not know for sure. I don't know what this is what makes that's why maybe I should ask um, a senior journalist of Nigeria and senior advocate of journalism. Uh, but uh, yes, I agree. no, 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 that's a Chamberlain and, and Sheo because they went to town on the case the other time as well. But mm -hmm. I guess we'll wait to see. Um, the, the very appropriate and the uh, court is uh, taking a bit of a, um, a break leg stretching break the justice <laughs> said 15 minutes and he said um, going by the ages of the different <laughs> form <laughs> yeah. to know what it meant just to someone in did know said jocularly <laughs> you know, that uh, mr buzoku senior advocate of nigeria mm. was uh, <laughs> up and about due to age so mm. it was just a good time to take a break well, and, and that's actually humane. The, the fact that we have a work to do does not mean that we shouldn't be sensitive to the issues. So I guess that's one down, three to go uh, I, so I, far. I, you were talking about senior advocate of journalism. The senior advocate of journalism uh, in Abuja was telling us earlier that there are three main um, hinges upon which you know, the judges always rule. Uh, the strength of the case, that's the strength of the argument, um, the facts of the matter and evidence, you know, tendered before the court, and we're seeing that play out in the first, you know, of the um, many items before the court today. See so why I called him senior advocate in journalism. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we'll take a short break in a moment or two, uh, just to uh, let you know that any moment from now we will. Uh, continue with our broadcast of this uh, and as we mentioned to you we've been trying oh by the way we could also inform you that not a few issues are uh, trending right now in on X about this particular case number one the PPT judgment is the number one hashtag right now 25% in FCT is also trending. Mm -hmm. um, Justice Samani earlier trended, I think, number three, but now he's trending quite down the ladder, at least about number nine or so right now. And a number of other trends. Presidential Tribunal is also trending and several others like that. Yeah. So <clears throat> just so and, we And know. also to inform you that during the first part of the proceeding, just before the break, we had more than... The 24,000 views. More than 40,000. 
6,000 oh, 6, on our dedicated yeah. uh, stream, but we had we, we have others all numbering out about between four and five thousand um, on X uh, watching this live broadcast. And, and I believe senior advocate of journalism on the other end in Abuja, Niota wants to weigh in on the matter. Niota, are you there now? Well, I'm not sure that he is, but let's see. Most certainly when he is, he will most certainly be brought in to have a conversation with us on the matter. So um, we, we need to take a, a, a little bit of break in a moment or two, but just to let you also know that um, the court, the presidential election petition court, has declared that as at this moment, uh, APM suit against the Vice President Shatima and President Tinubu has been struck out for lack of merit. Um, the critical case made was that, look, this is supposed to be a pre-election matter and consequently should have, should have been dealt with within 14 days from the day the course of action arose. Actually, I agree. We, we surpassed the 46,000 mark. I think that was the last time we checked. The update now is that we hit 70,000 views oh, wow. at the peak of the uh, proceeding you know, during um, the reading out of the judge's ruling by Justice Harun of Samani. See? Yeah, 70,000. And we're bound to surpass that uh, when there's a resumption of uh, the continuation of proceedings, when the judges begin to uh, read the ruling from the other petitions. Mm. But at this moment, maybe because of the break, we've come down to 59,000 watching as we speak.